Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new game. I was on Steam the other day looking for free games to try out and I came across this game called Miss Messages and I thought the game design looked really cool and it really just caught my attention. So I'm really excited to play this. I don't know what it's about as usual. I never know what the games I'm playing are gonna be about, but I have a feeling it might be kind of dark. So I'm just gonna give a warning right in the beginning but let's just get right in i'm really excited and this music is really cool i want to look up the song when i'm done playing because i really like it so anyway let's just get in trigger warning there are mentions of suicide and self-harm in this game okay so yeah warning watch at your own risk i'm kind of scared now okay perfect for staying inside and finishing my work Oh, laptop. Work stuff. What even is a four-dimensional shape? Ah, I need to work. But I'm so bored, I can't focus. Goth, GF's iPhone wants to send you a note. What's this? Should I accept it? Sure. Oh, do I have to oh I have to work or accept that? I guess I'll work. I make a valiant attempt at working. After some minutes, I get tired and want to take a break. Okay, let's accept this. <laughs> so cute! That is really cute. That's a palm. I have a Pomeranian. I love palms. Go back to work, send meme back, send note back. Uh, let's send a meme back. I wonder if she'll respond. Am I supposed to do something? Goth Chips iPhone wants to send you a note, except you're welcome, so pastel princesses, MacBook Pro, what are you up to? Uh, go back to work, focus, but can't focus. I'm working, but can't focus. I'm working, but can't focus. I love that Pomeranian, so cute. We'll send you a note, sure. Oh no, I feel that. I hope I'm not distracting you. I also can't focus. I'm procrastinating with makeup right now. Let's see the makeup, girl! Thank you, you're sweet. Let's see the makeup. I'm sure you worked hard on it. You're pretty! Tell me I'm beautiful, mother. Um, you're the cutest. Hi, you're the most beautiful. Aww. Just to send you a note. OMG, no you. You're so cute. Go out with me. Sure? Am I doing this right? This is weird. Okay. Yes, want to meet me later tonight outside my room? I don't know where this is going. Meet you. Yes, I'll see you soon. That's really cute. Later that night, I went out to meet goth girlfriend. Before I left, my roommate opened her door. The artwork in this game is really amazing. You're leaving? When will you get back? Probably after nine. Oh. Why? I really like this song. Um, no reason. Okay, bye then. Wait. Um, before the day ends, happy birthday. What's my birthday? You remembered? No one else remembered. I didn't even remember. Of course I remembered. That's so sweet. Thank you. No, thank you for being my friend. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> what? Why are you telling me this? I just thought life is so short. Oh no. Don't leave. Can I stay? I don't want to leave her. Why not express my appreciation for the people I care about? In that case, you're also an amazing friend. Thanks for being my friend too. Aw, ha, I'll see you later. No, 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 I want to stay. She needs me. I feel like she needs me. No, I don't want to go. I met up with goth girlfriend. <laughs> she told me her name, Amy. We walked to the roof, laid out a blanket, and watched the stars. This is gorgeous. Isn't this so pretty? The clouds and the, okay. Uh, let time pass, sky arts. Guy. I don't 
are these choices like really important because i don't know okay the sky is gorgeous tonight i know right i'm forever that girl that gets really excited when the sky is in pretty colors what do you think of when you look at the sky nothing for once only a feeling damn nothing you know when your mind is completely or is constantly noisy I look at the sky and I realize it's so much bigger than me. My problems mean nothing compared to it and my mind quiets. That's so poetic it is. That's very poetic. It's very beautiful. Let time pass arts. Airdrops. Arts? So you're into makeup? Hell yeah I am. God, can you imagine being so powerful you can transform into different people? Because I can. That is cool. That's a cool thing about makeup. God is a woman. <laughs> um, let time pass? I'm curious. As the sky darkened, I grew addicted to Amy's smile. It's getting late, we should head back. Aw, you're cute. Goodbye kiss? Why not? Sure. You're the cutest. No, you. Haha, <laughs> I'll see you later. See you. I had turned my phone off to save battery. On my way back home, I checked my phone. Missed messages. Um, May said you're a great friend. It's not your fault. I'm scared Mom says hey, sweetie. How is your day? <sighs> I don't like where this is going When I came back home, I felt cold nervous, but I didn't know why I don't like this anymore. I don't want to play <laughs> Oh my god Okay, I'm in bed Mm, I don't want to. Okay. Don't come in. Call the police. They'll know what to do. Love, May. Don't come in the room. Oh, this is heavy. This is heavy. I don't like this. Um, okay, I don't I don't think I can do anything. Don't come in. Call the police. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. Call the police. I called the police as I stared at the door, not blinking. When they arrived, I felt myself looking down on the scene myself, her, the police that eventually came, a disembodied feeling, and heard myself scream endlessly. My disembodied self watched me move and talk like an actor in the surreal circus I found myself in. I overheard strangers and friends alike talk. Did you hear what happened? No, what? Someone committed suicide. That's so sad. Where? Who? Where? The second floor, you probably don't know her, May. No, but that sucks. Most pitied the way she went, but didn't miss her. But I remember her smile, her laugh, the way she'd be kind in small ways. I couldn't forget her. When new people came into my life, I searched for her in them. I couldn't help it. I hoped she was still there. It was only during the funeral that she that the reality sunk in. At the funeral, I heard her singing, now sad and slow. Her singing when everyone else forgot and her not being there anymore to remember. As I listened to her, my disembodied self crashed down to reality. The pain hit, this time without the anesthesia of shock. Um, this was real. She was dead and we were putting her in the ground. The end missed. No one saw it coming. Could I have? Was there a message I missed? I'm doing that again. So, did I mess up? Was that avoidable? I'm gonna try again. I think I screwed up. <laughs> per usual. A heavy blizzard stretched on for miles. In the distance, I saw a figure. This is different. May? It's not safe here. May, is that you? Come back. She just smiled, looking content amidst the dangerous hail, as if she was going somewhere better, as if she hadn't heard my voice lost in the blizzard. Don't go, please, don't go alone. She disappeared into the snow, I'd miss my chance. Okay. Okay. I wake up in a cold sweat, fearful, but not sure why. What was that about? Never mind that, I should start working. Nope. 
go out the door. My roommate's door. She used to keep it open, now it's usually closed. I remember that dream I had. No, I wanna go in it. Ugh. The door to the outside world. Go in the bathroom, sure. I do not wanna be on my laptop right now, I wanna. I do what I gotta do and then go back. Okay, that did nothing, T. I really wanna go to my roommate. Fine, okay. Okay, go on my computer. I need to work, but I'm so bored, I can't focus. I'm gonna decline. No, decline. Work. I spent 30 minutes trying to, yeah, oh yeah. Go away, go away, I don't need you. I attempt to focus. I begin to lose focus again. That's weird, I hear voices. Seems like they're coming from my roommate's room. Okay. Getting closer, I hear voices. Listen. Although my Chinese was bad, I could still detect an angry Chinese mother when I heard one. What's that mean? Too lazy, why don't you? Her mother's fast lecturing Chinese sometimes paused for May's soft murmur of affirm affirmation, affirmation, I, I cannot speak, <laughs> and then continued. I felt like I was listening to something I couldn't, I shouldn't have, so I distanced myself from the door. No. <sighs> Back to the laptop. I need to be there for May. Okay, you go away. I don't want anything to do with you. I do some work and start wondering when I'll ever have to use this in real life. You won't ever have to. Where is Bill Nye when I need him? I love Bill Nye the science guy to answer my important questions. The noise from my roommate's room has quieted down. Can I go check on her? The door of my roommate may. I wonder if I should check up on her. Yes, you should. Knock. I hesitated, then knocked. For some reason, I feared what I might find. Hello? She's so pretty. Yes. Um, shit, what, what should I say? Looking for sock, hang out, you okay? If I say you okay, like, she obviously isn't. So I feel like that's not the right thing to say. I'm gonna hang out maybe because maybe then she'll talk or it'll make her feel better. I wanna hang out in my room and do what? I don't know, talk? Yes, but I have work to do. No, you don't. Take a break. Come on, come on, man, come on. You always have work to do. You should take a break. Besides, we haven't hung out for a long time. I miss you. Uh, I should use a, I could use a break, to be honest. And I miss you too. Okay, hold on a sec. Yay, May! She went back into her room to get something. When she came back, we laid on my bed, looking at the setting sun. Um, I don't know. I'm going between life and sky. Life might be... Let's go for life. What are you up to these days? I feel like we haven't caught up in a long time. Um, a lot, and also not much. A lot? Ah, sorry, I haven't stayed updated. Haha, <laughs> stay updated like I'm your favorite TV show. Don't worry about it. That oh. I just feel like I don't make enough time for you. Um, uh, that's okay, you're not obligated to. Oh yeah, it's your birthday, right? Haha, <laughs> I forgot, you remembered. Of course I did. She sang me happy birthday. Aw, thank you for remembering. I feel like I messed up by choosing life. As the years flew by, my birthday became like any other day. No one else had remembered it either, but she had. Because she's amazing. Um, stare outside, dream, how are you? I don't I don't think how are you is gonna go well, just like life. I'm gonna dream, I don't know. I had a weird dream. Oh, I'm telling her about my dream. Oh, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Ooh, what? It was about you, actually. It was kind of haunting. Oh my god, I need to hear this. No, you don't. I, sh I, sh I should have brought that up. You were in a sto snowstorm, and I called for you, but you didn't hear me. And I lost you. Huh, what, is that? what does it mean? 
I have no idea, but it stuck with me. Oh, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay too, May. It's just a dream. I don't think this is gonna help. I have a really bad feeling it's not. Here, if you're still scared by bedtime, I'll tell you a bedtime story, okay? Oh yeah, bedtime stories. What do you dream? Stare outside, how are you? I'll ask her how she is. So how have you been? Fine, just tired, yeah. I kind of figured she wouldn't. Big mood, how so? I don't know, like a bone deep tiredness? Day after day? It's relatable. <laughs> um, what do you mean, depressed, stare outside? She's depressed, so... Do you think you're depressed? Um, maybe? I took antidepressants a long time ago, but felt like they didn't work. That sucks. Maybe it's the type of antidepressant? Maybe you need to try a different one? Uh, don't take my advice, actually, I know nothing. Haha, <laughs> me, me neither? Maybe me, me either? Not just about this, but in general. I feel you. Has it gotten better, the tiredness? Not really. By now, I kind of just want to die. Oh, this is really heavy. I, this is really hard. This is so realistic, honestly. You just don't know what to say. Suicidal stare outside. Okay, stare outside has been one for a while, so... This is relaxing, but I'm also getting tired, haha. Really? I'm wide awake. I think I'm just tired in general. How so? Do you ever feel like every day is the same day? So relatable. <laughs> this is so relatable. Kind of. It's a satisfying sort of monotony? Monod and I can't say that. What is that word? A day where I stay inside, windows open, with tea and a book is the good shit. <laughs> oh. Do you not feel the same? I don't know. I feel like I wake up, do things I don't enjoy, go to sleep. So relatable. <laughs> then do it all over again. Uh, things you enjoy. It's cliche, but why not do what you love? It's not that easy. Very true. If I knew what I loved doing, I'd be doing it by now. But I don't know what I want to do. Is this constant? I'll help you. You like nothing? I'll help you? I'll help you. My dog is about to jump off my bed. I need to go rescue her. We'll figure this out. I'll try out every hobby and profession with you if that's what it takes. Thank you. Why are you so good to me? Because I'm worried about you and I care about you. I want you to feel better. Let time pass. Parents. She has issues with her parents. So I'm going to bring that up. Oh yeah. What were those noises about? Hmm? Earlier in your room. Ah, my mom called. Sorry, did I bother you? No, she sounded really angry though. Yeah, uh... She and I... Is everything okay with you two? I don't know. Every time my mom calls, I feel sick, angry. Wanna talk. Hey, baby. Do you want to talk about it? Oh. Talk about what? Why she makes you feel that way? Ha, huh, you sound like a therapist. <laughs> How are you feeling? Why are you feeling that way? Oops. I just want to help you. Yeah, I know. I was always the golden child. When I was young, I was good at everything, so my parents never pushed me to work hard at anything. As I grew up, I started lagging behind because I didn't put in effort. The only thing I would put effort into was writing. They yelled at me when they caught me writing. Writers weren't engineers or doctors. Writing would never make money. Now, my life is slowly falling apart, and instead of listening to me and helping me, my parents are yelling at me for wasting time playing games. Wow, thank you for telling me this. That's fucked. Thanks for listening. It's okay to be sad, writing. I just don't know what I'm gonna say, and... Writing? Maybe if I encourage her writing? What did you write about? 
before your parents made you stop. Oh my god, it's embarrassing. You can tell me. Okay, you won't laugh? I promise. Harry Potter fan fiction. <laughs> ha 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 ha. You said you wouldn't laugh. Sorry, I'm just surprised. Don't be ashamed, that's awesome. I love Harry Potter. Ugh, if you say so. I do say so. Uh, what time passed? We talked more about everything and nothing, from TV shows and memes to our worst fears and biggest desires. Before we knew it, evening dawned. I gotta go, I have work. No, you should stay, have a sleepover. <laughs> yeah, good luck, I'm always down to hang again. Yay, thank you for listening to me. It really means a lot. Although I also had work, I didn't regret talking with May one bit. Yawn, wow, time flies by fast. I kind of need to use the bathroom, must be all that tea. Oh yeah, the bathroom. Or wait, oh yeah, bathroom. <sighs> Sorry. Just needed a minute. Okay. I opened the door to my roommate May. She didn't seem to hear or see me. <sighs> okay. I don't know. Oh, this is really hard to watch and see. Hey, are you okay? Obviously she's not okay. I'm fine. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I... Wait, why can I not say... Oh. Oh, I was able to click on that one before. Oh, thank god I didn't go in that room, because I probably would have. Are you really okay? You don't look okay. I... I need to go. Hug. Wait, don't go. Can I hug you? She nodded silently. I hugged her. I wanted to say something, yet didn't want to break the silence. After a pause, she spoke. Thank you. Uh, I guess I'm not okay. I just say I'm okay because it's a gut reaction. Yeah, it's just the easiest thing to say. It's hard not to. Um, I don't really feel okay, but I don't want to bother anyone. Especially you. You're so kind. I made soothing motions on her back. Wait. Thanks for being here. Of course. I know this doesn't look good. I needed to punish myself. I don't deserve your kindness, I really don't. Hey, yes you do. You are a good person. Of course you deserve kindness. Is there anything I can do? Hug, just hug. It's been months since that day. May and I have gotten closer. I'd even consider her a best friend. In dark moments, we held each other's hands. Although I supported her, I didn't want to feel responsible for her, didn't want her to be dependent on me. So we drove to every therapist in town until we found one she liked. One night, May hugged me by surprise. May? Thank you. Me? What for? I, uh, don't know how to say this without seeming emotionally constipated. Thanks for caring about me for listening to me. I couldn't tell you before because I was sad, but I appreciate you really. Aw, anytime. Thank you too for being my friend. You teach me to be more kind. Oh my god, no you. No you. Uno reverse. Later that night, she gave me a note, both haunting and touching. It read, I was buried in the blizzard. The snow pelted powerful and unpredictable, never ending. I weakly cried for help and no one came, my voice lost in the snow. But you saw my messages. You grabbed a shovel, helped, and I could finally open the open my door. The end. Hope. There's something to look forward to after all. Thanks. Thank you for playing. By Angela. He inspired by real life. Evan and Jun. I don't know how to say that. Um, how do I see? Oh, and Junji Ito. I hope I did not totally butcher that name. <laughs> okay. Um. I got both endings, so I don't know if there are different endings. I'm sure based on what you choose, you'll get a little bit of a different story throughout, but I absolutely loved this. I am really glad that it's free for anybody to play. I think it's a really important game for everyone to play. It's important to remember that sometimes you need to 
be willing to ask for help and other people need to or just should try to remember to offer help and just ask their friends and family if they're okay if they're not sure because you never know what's gonna happen and when somebody needs you so I really related to this and it was hard to play this some of the moments were kind of triggering kind of hard to get through but I really loved this and I hope you guys did too sorry if it affected any of you it is a little bit triggering but overall I think it has such an amazing message and I loved this so much so to the people who made this you did an amazing job and props to you because this is incredible so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye